School psychologists are calling for smacking children to be made illegal, saying it harms their mental health. The Association of Educational Psychologists has tabled a motion at the TUC conference, which is going on this week, calling for physical punishment to be outlawed. At the moment, although corporal punishment is banned in schools, parents can smack a child as long as it is deemed reasonable. Let's talk to Sue Atkins, who is a mum of two, a former head teacher, and describes herself as a parenting coach, and sociologist Dr Stuart Wayton, who is a campaigner at Be Reasonable Scotland. Uh, thank you both for joining us. Uh, Sue Atkins, would you support a ban? Yes, I think I would now. There's so much compelling evidence uh, to show that, you know, uh, there was a study actually in Canada of 160,000 children that showed that it leads to anxiety, depression, ang you know, all sorts of detrimental, 13 detrimental things around self-esteem for children too. There are so many other ways to talk and teach children and to instill firm, fair and consistent boundaries without smacking them. And 60 other countries around the world have banned it. So I wonder why we are so frightened of it. Is it because we don't like this idea of a nanny state? Stuart Waiton, do you support a ban? No. Um... I find it strange that we have this uh, discussion about evidence all the time, because uh, there's contradictory evidence. So, you know, if people are interested, they can they should go and look up uh, uh, a guy called Robert Larzelia, who's done a lot of work. He's written in the British Medical Journal, uh, questioning all of this uh, research on smacking, which the vast majority of which he describes as being a form of advocacy research where researchers are really trying to find what they already believe. So for example, what they're talking about here, so in Scotland it's gonna be banned soon, so this, okay? That would become a criminal offense and that is supposedly creating mental health problems amongst children. Now, you don't well, have to be a to psychologist. That, respond to that, Sue, because uh, as you can hear, Stuart Waiton is very, very skeptical. Of course, but we are in a position of trust. We're bigger, we're stronger, we love our children. And when we smack them or hit them, when do you start? When they're toddlers and they make a mistake? When do you stop? When they're 16, taller than you and say it didn't hurt? Stuart, also, Stuart, answer that question. Hang on, let him answer the question, Sue. <laughs> well, you allow parents to make that judgment, right? It's, that's, that's what, it, it, when you live in a free society and we have children and we trust parents to look after their children, we do that. I mean, what about grounding your child? Right? If you grounded an adult, that would be a criminal offence. Okay? If you told an adult to eat certain foods and force them to say, you must eat your greens, that would be a criminal offence. Against There's lots of things we do to children that if, you, if we did them to adults would be seen as criminal offences. But this is what a loving parent does as part of their discipline. And this is what we're talking about, this. That would be a criminal yeah, yeah, but the, the, the difficulty with that is that that is, how does that escalate with people who are under pressure, who have been smacked before when they well, were grown up, but that's all they know, and no, how no, hard no, do no, you no, do no. it? No, no, it doesn't have to and escalate. If you do it, anger, it doesn't have to escalate. Have that is a crime. That's a crime. Is that Stuart, right? Stuart, just move, just move your arm further up, because we, we're only getting your head shot at the moment. Right. Just do that okay. again so okay. we can see. Yeah, that's a crime. Do that but to your what? child. But does that, does that, does that seem fair, Sue? What Stuart is doing is, is slapping his own wrist. If you did that to a child, that, that will be a crime soon in Scotland. But, Go but on. This is a, but this is a principle. I used to be a deputy head teacher and class teacher for many years. We, we no longer smack children in school. Why is it that we go to that default position that it's OK for parents to? If a child hits another child in the playground, you call that aggression. If an adult hits another adult in a pub, for example, that's assault. And yet it's all right... For you know, an adult to hit a child who's smaller, should, vulnerable, should parents just be able minute, to and we call ground that their children. Should they be able to ground their children and say you can't go out? That would be a not criminal offence. Not not all parents have great should, should skills. Should they be able to home. ground their children? Yeah, but I'll tell you a simple one with a, a, that with a, would be a, a criminal teenager. You offense. take. You take away their mobile phone. That certainly sorts out some of the discipline. That would also be a criminal offence. Uh, let me I read, you, let me read you this text. Offense. I was in nursery care for over 30 years and we knew every child that got smacked by their behaviour. They thought it was all right to hit other children when they wanted yeah. something or to resolve difficult situations. Situation, sorry. They seemed less confident and more worried and unhappy in themselves, setting examples of good behaviour, love, understanding and explaining your reasons 
is what works so children can find their place in society. What do you say to that, Stuart? Well, I think, that's, I think there's some truth to that. I think if you have an unloving parent right, who is being uh, vicious and unpleasant to children, then I think that will be a very poor upbringing for a child. If you have a loving parent who loves their child and is part of their upbringing, gives, gives them a mild smack, well, that does absolutely no harm. And you just have to know you, use your common sense to know that. And it's interesting that your other guest starts talking about principles. She starts talking about evidence and she ends talking about principles. So which is it? I'm going is to bring it, in. I'll tell you, who, I'll be, you won't be able to answer that. I hope it's a... Uh, let, let me bring in Jerry Glazier from the National Education Union. Um, that's a trade union for teachers. He's in Manchester, uh, where this motion has been put down at the TUC conference. Hello, Mr Glazier. Can you hear me OK? I can, thank you. Good morning. Good morning. Um, do you support this call? Yes, we absolutely do support this call. It's significant that it's 30, over 30 years since corporal punishment was banned in schools. Schools were allowed to administer corporal punishment because they were in loco parentis, acting on behalf of the parents. That, it, that 30 years has seen lots of changes in people's understanding and appreciation of the damage that physical uh, punishment for children can have. And we think now is the time, like 60 other countries, to ensure that it should be abolished uh, in the home and elsewhere. But, but that means you support criminalising a parent who might smack their child on the arm or the back of the legs. Well, I think there's a, a fundamental difference between a light tap, but when you start administering corporal punishment, uh, smacking in a way which uh, uh, hurts the child, that cannot be acceptable in the 21st century. Uh, and that, you know, we really need to, to ensure it, it doesn't happen. And the government needs a responsibility to ensure that reasonable punishment is removed from an excuse. But I, ca I'm, I must say this, that it, what's crucially important also is that parents are properly supported in developing their parenting skills. And we've seen lots of demise of support for parents over the last 10 years in particular, which means making the job which, of parenting, which is incredibly difficult, we acknowledge that, uh, even more challenging. So we need to address that as well, so that parents are given the tools to manage their children's behaviour positively without having to resort to physical punishment. Stuart, are 60 countries who've banned it wrong? Yeah. Can I just make a point? Your last guest said there's a difference between a light tap. So he himself then accepted a light tap, right? <laughs> this, is, this is where we get confused. We get, we get the person introducing this in Scotland smacked his own children and says his children are absolutely fine. Right? So you know, Pat, is he a criminal? Should we retrospectively arrest the person introducing this legislation in Scotland? He equates it to domestic violence. Like, and then they say, but we're not going to arrest parents for this. This is not about criminalizing parents. Well, if it's the same as domestic violence, we should be arresting parents, right? We should be going into homes and arresting them. Every time a teacher hears that a child has been smacked lightly on the hand, we should be sending the police round and arresting them if it is the same as domestic violence. But it is not the same as domestic violence. Okay. It is part of parenting as a loving person. And no, all parents do not need to be supported or giving education classes. We do not need experts problematizing what is a loving relationship that the vast majority of people get on with perfectly fine without their support. Thank you, all of you. Thank you very much.